afternoon. Good afternoon, ma'am. Okay. Good afternoon. So it seems you must have all had your lunch. Yes. Yes. Okay. So now, let us after eating lunch, we will need to go to do our work, na. So now it's English language. Heavy concept. Let us do one thing. Let us all do a warm up exercise. Okay. Now this exercise we will be dividing into two sets. Two part. Set one and set two. Okay. So let's start with set one. Everybody, are you all ready? Yes. 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 Okay. So everybody, stand up. Stand. Stand. Sit. Stand. Sit. Stand. Run at your pace. Run at your pace. Run at your pace. Okay, stop. Sit down. This was set one. Okay, now let's move to set two. Now, in this, the task will be the same task but with additional information. Okay, stand up. Run at your place slowly. Run at your place slowly. Run at your place slowly. Okay. Twist your body. Now, vigorously twist your body. Fast. 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 Okay. Now, sit down. Shake your hands. Shake your hands. Quickly. 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 Quick, 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 quick. Oh, thank you. So now, are, are you all fresh for the lecture? All geared up? Yes. yes. Okay. Fine. Okay. So now, kids, we did a warm up exercise. But you know what? This warm up exercise was a part of our lesson, the topic that we will be learning today. So, can anyone tell me what we will learn today? Just a rough guess, can anyone guess? Yes, ma'am, works. Okay. Yes, Manisha, ma'am. You are partly correct. We will be learning works, but related to, we will be learning a topic related to works. Okay. No. Adverbs. Yes, Miss Naya, you are correct. We will be learning adverbs. So, it is chapter number 13. Adverbs. Okay. Okay. So we will be learning English language. The topic is adverbs. But okay, we did the warm up activity. Now please next. Okay, we also even Bugs Bunny is ready for us. With us. Next. Okay. So let's go to set one of the exercise we did. We all did an action. Yes. yes. What were the instructions? Miss uh, Asha, can you tell me what instruction did I give for set one? To sit, to stand up. Yes, and to run at your place. Run at your place. Okay. So what did you all do? You all did actions. That means works. You all did. Performed action that means work. So what are work? The actions that we perform. The actions that we do. Right now currently I am teaching. I am speaking. And verbs are also known as doing works. Okay? Mama. Now let's move to the second set of the exercise. What did I tell you? What were the instructions? Ms. Sheetal, would you please answer? What was the instruction I gave for the second set of the activity? Come vigorously and run on your place slowly. Okay, yes. So these were two examples, two set of instructions. So now, what did I say? Turn vigorously. Then I also said, shake your hands quickly. Then I said, run at your place slowly. So I gave you some more information about the actions that you have to perform. So, the words which gives you more information about the actions that you have to perform is known as adverbs. Is known as adverbs. So, what are adverbs? You can see the words which describe or tell us more about the verbs. Clear? Is this thing clear? Okay. Now, so this you are learning since grade 1. 
right but today we will be learning some more part in adverbs of in adverbs okay so basically the topic is adverb but we will be learning today types of adverbs types of let us see what are the types of adverbs so there are total five types here you can see on your screen adverb of manner place time adverb of degree and adverb of frequency but for today's class we will only concentrate on adverb of manner and the other parts we will learn in the next class now what are adverb of manner adverb of manner describes the way in which an action is performed how the particular action is been done adverb of manner also answers your question how how now let's go back us let us go back to the second set of the exercise that we did what did i say run slowly at your pace how you are supposed to run slowly move vigorously twist your body vigorously how you are supposed to move your body vigorously okay then i said shake your hands quickly how you are supposed to shake your hands quickly so adverb of manner answers your question how okay now many adverbs of manner can be performed by adding ly to it to the verbs to the words that we will be using now let us see with the examples first like huh? okay now see what is this he is doing he is he is moving out of the room or a house so what he is saying i must sleep away quietly so what is he saying i must sleep away quietly sleep away means to move out now so how is uh, the thief uh, thinking to move out i sleep quietly ma press one okay quietly so here you can see the action is to sleep away and which word is describing it quietly and here you have observed the third point which i told you that adverb of manners are formed by adding ly correct by adding ly to the word let us see the second example fun is when i play loudly so this boy is playing a drum and he is saying that it is more fun i enjoy it when i play it loudly so what is the action been performed here miss manisha no, play play very good miss lobet how he wants to play loudly correct he wants to play the drum loudly yes so see here again the action of play is been described by the word loudly and it is ending with ly see now we are all waiting in a queue we all have to wait patiently so what are the what is the action being performed here waiting and uh, what is the word miss nayan which is the word that is describing the word wait patiently patiently correct so the word that describe the word that describe the action wait is patiently and it is ending with ly okay now let before moving on further okay now i want some examples from you all come on who will tell who will give example don't give me in sentence form just give me the words yes miss manisha adverb yes only ly words sweetly sweetly yes miss ujwala quickly quickly roughly roughly anyone else nicely nicely, nicely. nicely. yes gracefully yes anyone else hurriedly hurriedly oh so i think i am going on a right track and you people are able to understand is it so yes ma'am okay fine now what we will do we will move further but let us do. now the words you just give me words now any one of you can any one one or two of you can frame that words into a sentence and then turn into a sentence Like sweetly, hurriedly, noisily, gracefully. Yes, Miss Asha. She sings very sweetly. She sings very sweetly. Yes, perfect. She dances very gracefully. She dances gracefully, or she dances very gracefully. Correct. So I hope adverb of manner is clear to you all. Yes, ma'am. Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, okay. 
Now I am going to give you. Okay. Before we move on the revision part, I'll just tell you your homework. You have to complete the warm up exercise of your textbook. So this is the first page of your textbook, and you know what? When I was teaching you, we have already completed three parts of your exercise. So this is your homework. You will be doing at your home. Okay, and then we will discuss it in the next class. See, I must sleep away. We will have to wait and finish when I play. These three examples I have taken when I was explaining. So now let's move to the evaluation. Let's have a quick revision of what we have done. Okay, now are you all excited to play a game? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma okay. So now this game name is Angry Dog. So what you have to do now? I am going to ask random people. I will be calling out the name. He or she will answer the question. Okay. Click on the right option. So once you are telling me the answer, Miss Radha will help us to click that particular word. See the first. Yes, Miss Rupali, will you please read the sentence and try to answer? Uh, he skipped down to school. He skipped dash down the road to school. Happy. Happy. Let us see whether you are correct. Click on the word. You got it. Yes, you got it. Okay. Second, please. She sings beautifully. She is a dash singer. Miss Bhavita. Good or well? Good. Good. Okay. Let us see. Are you correct? You got it. Yes, you got it. Next, please. Okay. They plan their holidays in Spain. Very dash. Miss Sangeeta, would you like to answer, please? Carefully, okay. Let us see. You got it. You got it. Okay, the next. I don't want to go with him. He drives too. Yes, Miss Udvala. Fast, fast, okay. You got it. Wow, you got it. You got it. Yes, next, please. They could see the movie because they finished their work very dash. Miss Rasha, would you like to answer, please? Quickly, quickly, okay. You got it. Great job. Next, please. They are fantastic dancers. They dance really dash. Anyone else? No, I will No chorus answers. Raise your hands. Yes, Miss Rishma. They dance really well. They dance really well. Okay. You got it. Great. Okay. I can't hear her. She speaks too dash. Miss Rishma. She. Speaks too quietly, okay? You got it. Great. The street is too noisy. I am getting dash. Nervous. Let us check. You got it. Great. So here we have completed our lecture. The homework was given prior. You have to complete your warm up exercise of the text. Clear? Any more doubts? No, no ma'am. Sure? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, sir. Okay, I think now we are on the same page. Can we start now? Yes, sir. Okay. Today, actually, you now while you are coming to school, actually I went to your house and I steal something from there. And because I know you are like physics and subject a lot, so you are having, you know, you are hiding in your uh, cupboard your magnets. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes. All of your magnets, right? Yes. Okay. So I have collected magnets from my houses, and those are with me. So now I want to know how do you play with your magnets? Like everyone have their different way that I because I have lots of ways to play with them. So can anybody come and tell me how they play with their magnets? I have four pieces: one, two, three, and four. So you can come and tell me. So you will come first. Yes, you want iron? Yes. Okay. So I have again a disc of iron and a plate of iron. Which one you want? Plate. Plate. Okay. 
So how many one? Spider-Man movie? Yes? You know how 
Spider-Man does? He with using a web. So if a magnet is attracting a different material, it should also have a wave kind of graphing. Yes? So what you can do here is you can take a magnet. Okay? And first of all, we want to see whether these lines are there or not. Okay? So I will just take a one magnet and keep it here and fill is currently you cannot locate any field lines yes or no can you see any field lines around the magnet no can you first name this magnet which kind of magnet it is it's a bar magnet and what do you want to name this magnet as shape just give me the shape name this is a this magnet. Now, I have one more type. Horseshoe magnet? Yes, it's a horseshoe magnet or a letter U magnet. Okay? And if you just compare all these magnets, you're going to find one similarity. Can anyone point out that one similarity between all kinds of magnets? Poles. What? Poles. Poles. North and south. North and south. So you can see one end is here, one end is here. Okay. Now the same thing is going to be seen. The distance has been reduced. Okay. Only the distance is being reduced from this to this. Again, north and south. And for this, if I just take this bar magnet, if I just twist them, it's going to give the shape of this U-shaped magnet or a horseshoe magnet. One thing I want to ask is how do I know that whether it's one side is not or which side is not? You can see right now they are all look very similar and there is no names have been written. So is it good or is it, is there any way that you can exactly locate this is the north and this is the south or map? We have north and south, but if I just give it this disk and I ask you. Give me exact north pole. Can you give me? Yes? No. So actually, nobody can in this world tell you exactly which pole is north pole and exactly which pole is south pole. Okay. But we really want to know that how this is happening. Okay. How a magnet creates its magnetic field. So for that I have very simple demonstration. Okay, I need one person to come and they will do little magic. Okay, so in many magic you have seen people just put something and around it they spread their magic powder. Right? Same way we have to do. So who can come now? Vanishana, can you come? So we have to say magic word of. Oh my God! Yes. Just have to spread. Yes, and say your magic word on your own. Abra gada. Abra gada. And on the top one. Yes. Okay. On the sides. It should be properly uniform. Okay. Yes, rangoli. Okay, fine. Now. All I am going to ask ma'am just to tap on the paper, okay? And see whenever you go for any office, you first knock and say knock knock. Who is there? Okay? Knock knock. Who is there? Who is there? And then we will say magnetic field. What are you going to say? Magnetic field. Okay? So ma'am is going to say knock knock. What are you going to say? Who is there? No. Magnetic Yes. Magnetic field. Ma'am is going to ask knock knock. Who is there? Then they will give the name Marriott. Okay? Can you start? Ma'am? Yes. Knock knock. You have to say. Knock knock. Who is there? Keep on. They are not opening a door, ma'am. Knock knock. Who is there? Knock knock. Who is there? Knock knock. Who is there? Magnetic field. Yes. Knock knock. Magnetic field. Okay. Now, can you see, ma'am, what is happening? On the sides, it is the rings. 
are getting formed? Yes, yes. Okay? Yes. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Thanks. So, even though the free lines were not visible to your naked eye, if you see by this method, you can actually locate its free lines. And again, you cannot tell which side is north and which side is south. Okay? Now. So I think we have a little brief information about a magnets now. Like, can you tell me what we have learned till now? In magnets. Magnets comes in different shapes. Name? Bar magnet. First one is bar magnet. Disc magnet. Second? Disc magnet. Disc magnet. Third? Horseshoe magnet. Horseshoe magnet. And it always comes into two poles. One will be North pole. North pole. Second will be South pole. South pole. Okay. So we can see now if this is our globe. And we are getting a magnet. Okay? And you can see one side is showing you plus and the one side is showing you minus. These are two different notations which we use. If one we get like if you have a plus, all you can show you by N, it means not true. Minus, sometimes they show you minus, sometimes they will write as or you will be not and south. Okay. Right? So there are different shapes in which they can come and you can build. A different structure as we tried to make a ring which was not happened properly but if we use it properly then you can get it. Now next. So this is a magnet and what is this? I. Can you see what, what three lines we have tried to see in that paper yes. is now visible here very clearly. Yes sir. This is a magnet? Yes sir. What is this? I. So what is going to happen now? If I keep an iron piece with a magnet, what happens? They get yes, they get what? Attracted. Okay, now. So if I have a magnet, if I keep nearby an iron piece. It will attract. Okay. Now, this change. So we use this magnet for north and south direction to check which direction you are in. And actually, in ancient time, many of the people used to travel. They used to travel by boat. And this is a very first problem they have to tackle that they have to always know in which direction they are moving. So if it is in daytime, okay, we can locate sun and you know, we can go. But in night, we have a special days in which moon doesn't come in sky. Can you give me that? What the what we call as a day? What day we call that? New moon day. New moon. On that day we don't see any moon. So if I just put you, just imagine yourself that at night you are near, near a seashore. And there is no moon is visible. Can you locate your direction in which direction you are facing? No. No? No. In that case, they used to use these bands. They used to use these bands. Yeah. 
Okay, and if you see the topic I haven't written, because I want all of you to guess it. Okay, so I have this box with me. Okay, so you will all be thinking uh, that I have got some chocolates with me, and then teacher will share the chocolates with us. But uh, no, okay, I haven't got any chocolate. Uh, but I'll just turn the box. Well, it's a fun box. That means today, whatever we are going to learn, okay, we are going to learn it through some fun activities, okay. And there is something into this box. Oh wow, it's a smiley bird. Well, it's smiling at me and it's smiling at all of you. So I want all of you to be smiling throughout the class. Now, what am I going to do with this fun box and this ball? Is I'm going to place this ball in various directions. Okay, and then you have to tell me. I will ask you just one question. That will be where is the ball? Okay, so I shall start. Okay, now I place the ball here. Uh, so, uh, Miss Rupali, can you tell me where is the ball? <coughs> it's your right side. It's on my right. Uh, but uh, any other guesses? Yes, Miss Rupali. It's outside the ball. It's outside. Box. It's outside the box. box. Very good. Now I place the ball here. Now can someone tell me where is the ball? Yes. Below the box. It's below. Very good. Or we can use there are some under. other words also. Under. Like under, under, under or maybe beneath. Okay. Now it's here. So where is the ball? Inside. It's inside. inside the box. So what have you understood? The words that we just, not just that we just got. Like above, besides or maybe outside the box. Under, we need. So what have you understood? And I just ask you, where is the ball? I didn't ask you too many questions. I just ask you one question. That is, where is the ball? Position now, can you get? Yes, position of the ball. Yes, it showed. It, uh, it showed us where is the ball. It showed us the position. So let me conclude by telling you the words that tell us where a thing is are called as. Any guesses? Yes, are called as. Prepositions. Yes. So what is our today's topic? Our today's topic is yes. prepositions. So I just started on the board for all of you. Yes, Jyotima. It's besides the table. 
Anima, if I come and stand here. Yes, Anima. In front of. The In front of the table. Okay. So what have you understood from all of the things, the things that I showed you through the animals and through the person? Okay. What we have understood is that the words like above, under, besides, uh, behind, in front of, maybe in, outside, inside. Okay. So the words which tell us where a thing is, where an animal is. And where the person is. Okay. Are called as prepositions. I hope it's much clear with all of you. Because I have given all the examples. Okay. As far as animals. As far as a person. And as far as things are concerned. Okay. Have you all understood up till here? Okay. Yes. yes. So that was the definition of preposition. I would like to repeat it again. The words like above, under, besides, beneath. Or maybe below. Okay. Then we have inside, outside or behind. Now if you tell me teacher only these all words are prepositions. No. We have many, many and many more. Okay. So as you go to grade 3, if you go to grade 4, if you go to grade 5 and so on. So you will be learning the topic prepositions much in detail. Okay. So now I have a chart for all of you. Okay. What I want you to do is to observe the picture. Okay. You all have to observe this picture very carefully. Okay. I have some sentences done. Okay. Then what you have to do? You have to tell me the correct preposition to be placed in the sentence. Okay. Now first. The tree is dash the house. The tree. Observe where is the tree. Observe where is the house. And then tell me the tree is dash the house. Yes, Miss Jyoti. The tree is beside the house. Let me check. Let me check if it's correct. Yes. Yes, the tree is beside the house. Second question. The sun is dash the rainbow. Okay, look at the rainbow. It looks so colorful because the rainbow has seven colors. Okay. So the rainbow is the sun is dash the rainbow. Yes, ma'am. Behind the green. Very good. Now let me check. Let me check if it's the correct answer. Well, the sun is behind the rainbow. Now the third one. The bee is buzzing dash the flower. So we have the two bees. Okay, now you have to tell me the bee is buzzing dash the flower. Where is the bee buzzing? Above. Above? Above. Above? Yes, it's correct. But we have the bee is over. buzzing over. Why? Because the bee always buzzes around or maybe over the flower. Okay? Now the last one. The butterfly is dash the tree. The butterfly is dash the tree. If anyone can tell me. Look at the butterfly. Where is the butterfly and where is the tree? So please can above. someone tell me it's above the tree. Very good. Now you want to check if your answer is correct. Yes, it's above the tree. Okay, so I will just repeat the sentences again. The tree is besides the house. The tree is besides the house. The sun is behind the rainbow. The sun is behind the rainbow. The bee is buzzing over the flower. The bee is buzzing over the flower. Last one. The butterfly is above the tree. The butterfly is above the tree. Have you all understood? Any doubts up till your? Any? If anyone has, can ask me. No? Okay. So I've got one more activity for all of you. And what you have to do is now I don't want anyone to raise your hand or maybe give me a first answer. I will call all of you here. Okay? You all have to come here. And I have some activity. A fun activity for all of you. Okay? So I have this pizza. Can you see it's written pizza? Yes. Okay? I guess your mouth is watering. But we cannot eat it though. Okay? Uh, because it's out of paper. Okay? But uh, the pizza doesn't look any more delicious. Because there are no toppings on it. Now the pizza is complete. So I want all of you, okay, whoever wish to come forward and then you can see there is a box and there is a ball case. Okay, and then you have to again, the same activity that we just did before, okay, you have to guess where the ball is. And then we have, I have the slices of pizza kept on the table. Okay, then you all have to come and place it. Okay, so can I have Miss Vasha first? 
वस्तु कम है Now you have to go into tell mama and dada that the 
it is your time now. Okay, it's your time. Even you all are going to keep things around anywhere and you all are going to ask me a question. Okay, isn't that fun? Okay, if you do, do you all want me to put, uh, write it on the board? No, because I guess it's a fun homework, na? And you all will be much able to remember. So I hope everyone has understood the definition of preposition as well as how to place the correct preposition while framing a sentence, whether in a written form or whether verbally. Okay, thank you everyone. Now this is your first lecture and that is a science. Okay. So let's start our period now. Okay. And so this is your first period. So I hope you all are very fresh and energetic. Yes. 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 Okay. So before uh, I start my lecture, I want to show you a few pictures. You have to observe it very carefully. Okay. Here see. You are having picture A. Okay? Okay. Now, you are having picture B also. Okay? Observe both the picture very carefully. And now, tell me about picture A. What the time is it in picture A? Night. Yeah. Very good. Yes, it's a night time. Yeah, in picture B. And, yes, anybody is can tell me about the picture B also. What the time of the day in picture B? Yes? Uh, Ma'am, nothing is visible because I guess there is no light. So we cannot just really make out what is yeah. in picture B. Yeah. Uh, actually something you can little bit if you observe yes. the day. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so this is again? Sunrise. Sunrise. Sun. See, nothing is there. So, what time of the day? What do you think? In that second picture? Night. Yeah, night. 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 it's night time. Night. Okay, now again about picture A. Yes? What can you see in picture A? Yes, anybody? Yes, Nita ma'am? The moonlight is passing through the center. Yeah, moonlight is passing. And which of things are there present in picture B? The bed are there. Yeah, bed is there. Books are there. Yeah, books are also lying. Yes, you can see. Yeah. So, and yes, anybody else can explain about picture B? Yes, no. Not visible. Yeah, not visible. Why? You cannot see from picture B. There is no light. Yeah, there is no light. Correct. So here, we conclude that, yes, here, light is very important thing to see things around us. So let's start chapter number 9, light. So in this chapter we are going to learn many more things about light. Okay. So students, uh, do you know how we can see? Just now you said yes because in that picture you are not able to see. Okay. Nothing is there. So now I'm explaining how do we can see from our eyes. Uh, one more picture. 
teacher I'm having, you have to observe that teacher also carefully. Yeah. Now this is your picture C. Okay. Now who will explain about picture C? Uh, yes, Nindan. Uh, actually, there are glass. There is a glass around. Uh, that means the light can directly pass through the glass. Yeah. That is the reason we can see everything much clearly. Yeah. You can see everything much clearly. Very good. Now, one more picture I am having. Yes? So, that is picture B. Okay? So, here, now, in picture C, what the time of the day? Is it in picture day C? Day time. Day time. Day time. Please don't give me false answer. Yes, ma'am? Pratiba, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. It is day time. Yeah, it is. In this picture, it is a day time. Day time. Yes, how you can say it is a day time? Because uh, sunrise is a... Uh, yeah, correct. Because, because sunlight is there. And because yes. of that, everything is visible. visible. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So here, in this picture, who will explain about this picture? Yes. Uh, there is no sunlight. It's night. Yeah. So there is no sunlight and light. inside light. Yeah. It's night time. That's why. Yes. Lights are on. Okay. So here, do you know here what is important? Sunlight. Okay. So, sun gives us light and heat. Sun gives us light and heat. That's why we can easily, we can see, yes, through all over whatever surrounding things are there. Okay. So, see. Sun gives us light and heat. Okay. Yeah. So, students, do you know any object that gives out light is called a source of light. Yes? Any object that gives us light, it is called a source of light. So, sun is natural source of light on the earth. And because of sunlight, yes, do you know plants also preparing their food in presence of sunlight? Yes? And what is that process is called? With the help of which process plants are preparing their food? Photosynthesis. Yes, correct. That is a photosynthesis. So, sunlight Yes, it's very important for everybody. Even we too. Yes, if there is no sunlight, what will happen? Yes, everywhere darkness. There is no light on the earth there. Okay. So now, do you know students, there are two sources of, yes, light. So do you know which are these two sources? Anybody? Natural light. Very good. Natural light. And one more thing is there. Correct. Artificial light. So, we are having natural light and artificial light. Okay. Natural source of light and artificial source of light. So, now we are going to learn about natural source of light. So, students, can you give me a few examples of natural source of light? Yes, ma'am? Yes. Very good, sun. Yes, we are talking about sun. Yeah. Yes, anybody else? Moon. Moon. Actually see, uh, moon, here actually moon is not having its own light. Okay? Uh, whatever sun gives us light, that, that it is reflects on the moon and because of that moon shines. So here we cannot take the example of moon. Only sun. Yes? Anybody else? Examples of natural source of light? Fire. Fire. It will come. No, fire it is under artificial. Okay, so yeah, correct. Stars. So let's see a few more examples of natural source of light. So here we are having natural source of light. That is main one thing is yes, that is the sun. Yes. Now next is lightning. It's also one type of natural source of light. Next we are having volcanoes. So that also we can get natural source of light. Here we are having few insects. That is glow bomb. That also glow. Yes, at night time. Next even we are having some marine. Yes, animals that is jellyfish also. Yes, they emit their light. Even stars. Okay. So these all are examples of natural source of light. 
Okay, so students now tell me why these are called as natural source of light. Why these are called as natural source? Yeah, they are producing their own light, correct? But here, fire also produce their own light. Why these are called? This is not man-made. Correct. These are not man-made. Means it is we are getting from nature. It present in nature and they give us their own light. Okay, that's why these all examples are related to natural source of light. Okay, now we'll move toward our next that one artificial source of light. So students, give me few examples of artificial source of light. Yes, ma'am. Yes, tube light. Correct. The lamp. The lamp. Yeah. Bulb. Very good. Okay. Now you know many more. So now let's see. You see, we are having natural source of light. We are having your candle, traffic light, torch. Okay. Uh, bulb. Yes. Uh, this one car. Uh, headlight. Okay. Toggle lamp. So these all are an artificial source of light. Okay. Now already you know why these are called as artificial source of light. Yes. Because it is man-made. Yes, correct. Because yes, these are man-made. Yes, these are man-made like yes, source of light. That's why these are called as artificial source, source of light. So everybody clear about natural source of light yes. and artificial source of light? Yes. Okay, if we are talking about light, light, light. Okay. So do you know, yes, who is invented that bulb, electric bulb? Yes, no. Thomas Alva Edison. Correct. Thomas Alva Edison. So now let's see more about that great scientist. So, see, this is the picture of Thomas Alva Edison. Okay, so he was an American inventor who invented many devices such as the photograph, the motion picture, camera, even electric light bulb. Okay, he was born on October 18, 1931, in West Orange, New Jersey, USA. So he is a famous scientist. Okay, he was a famous scientist. Okay, Thomas Alva Edison. Okay, he is inventor of a light bulb. Okay, now. Now students, we are having one more picture over here. Observe carefully. Yes, who will explain about this picture? Chair, pencil, bed. So tell me whether these objects can produce their own light? 
No. Correct. <coughs> objects, they do not produce or emit so. Here, objects that do not emit or produce their own light. So, those are called as, those objects are called as non-luminous light. So, let's see. Objects that do not emit or give out light of their own are called as non-luminous light. So, here we have continued today. What we have done today? Natural source of light, artificial source of light. Yes, luminous and non-luminous object. Yeah. Shubhadupar Vidyatharno.
स्वयंपाकघरातून काय घेऊन येते येस तुम्ही सांगा मॅडम जखमेवर अत्यंत काय लागते आई हा साहेब हळद अगदी बरोबर हळद आपण पटकन जखमेवर लावतो डॉक्टरांकडे पोचायच्या आधी कारण हळद ही जंतुनाशक आहे हळदीप्रमाणे तुळस आणि ओवा हे सुद्धा अतिशय औषधी वनस्पती आपल्या घरोघरी आपल्याला पाहायला मिळतात हे आपण फक्त शाळेतून आणायला शिकलो का नाही आपल्याला हे सगळं आपल्या घरीच शिकायला मिळतं पुढे बघा एक आई आपल्या मुलाशी बोलते त्याला बोलायला शिकवते अहो थोडक्यात काय त्याला आपली भाषा सांगते मग तो मराठी असेल हिंदी भाषेशी असेल किंवा इंग्रजी भाषेशी तेलगू तमिळ कन्नड कोणत्याही भाषेशी कनेक्टेड असेल जेव्हा आई आपल्या मुलाला अशा प्रकारची भाषा घरातच सांगते मग शाळेत शिकवायची गरज काय शाळेत तुम्हाला सुंदर दिशा दाखवली जाते पण याचं मूळ ज्ञान तुम्हाला आई बाबा आपले आजी आजोबा नातेवाईक मित्रमंडळी हेच तुम्हाला शाळेत जायच्या आधीपासून हे सगळं ज्ञान देत असतात आणि तेही कळत नकळत तुम्हाला कळतच नाही की तुम्ही कधी विज्ञान शिकला तुम्हाला कधी इतिहास कळाला तुम्हाला कधी भाषा कळली तर अशा प्रकारच्या या शाळेमध्ये आज दिनो न जाता आपल्या मित्रांसोबत चाललाय कुठे ते बघू सगळ्यांनी आपलं कथापुंज हे पुस्तक काढायचं आहे आणि पुस्तकातलं पृष्ठ क्रमांक एकोणतीस सगळ्यांनी अरे पा आज सगळ्यांनी पुस्तक आणलेली नाही बरं ठीक आहे कारण मला हा वर्ग अतिशय अगत्याने मिळालेला आहे तर बघा तुम्ही जरी पुस्तक आणली नसतील तरी लक्ष देऊन ऐकता अगदी छोटासा टॉपिक आहे घटक आहे जो मी तुम्हाला स्पष्ट करते बघा तिघांनी ठरवलं आपण शाळेत जाऊयाच नको सर्वांना ही कल्पना फार आवडली मग हमजाने हमजाने आवाजला सहारी न करण्याबद्दल सांगितलं हमजाने आवाजला सहारी करू नकोस सहारी करणं म्हणजे सुगली करणं सहारी म्हणजेच सुगली तू अजिबात खाली सांगू नकोस की आपण आज शाळेत जात नाही असं त्याने बचावलं पुढे मग मोकळ्या रगात ही सर्व मुलं हुंदडली म्हणजे ना आई बाबा ना शिक्षक मुलं छान मस्त बागडली कुणी इकडे कुणी तिकडे कोणी ओढाला नाही मनसोक्त खेळली आता बघा दिनूने दिनूने सांगितलं अरे पण आपल्या ह्या पाट्या पुस्तकांचं काय कारण ते शाळेत निघाले होते जवळ पाठी आणि पुस्तक होती अरे यांचं काय हे खराब होतील तेव्हा हमजा म्हणाला एक खड्डा करू आणि आपली पाट्या पुस्तक खड्ड्यात टाकून देऊ आणि जेव्हा आपण घरी जाऊ तेव्हा पुन्हा घेऊन जाऊ ही आल्या किंवा विचार सगळ्यांना ही युक्ती फार आवडली आणि पटापट दिनू नये एक खड्डा केला सगळे पाट्या पुस्तक तिघांची लपेट पुरली पुरणे म्हणजे गाडून टाकणे याच्यासोबत जंगलातल्या ओढ्या
शाळेतून जंगलात जायला मुलांनी काय तयारी केली होती आज Thank you. 